Hi, this is Chad Nelson, and in this video, I'm going to help you fix the CNAME error. If you're getting an error when you're trying to add a CNAME record to your GroovePages website so that it, it uh, the web page or website you're creating shows up on the URL or the domain name that you're getting, and I'm in the cl my Cloudflare account here per their instructions, if you're getting this error here where it says a, um, a or C name record already exists with that host, code 81053 so if you're getting this error um, and let me show you how I got to this point real quick if you're already a member of Groove Pages you want to sign up for the Groove Digital Academy .com here and then once you get in come over to Groove Pages publish your site and as you can see over here they have publish with it's kind of a generic instructions they have specific ones for GoDaddy and Namecheap I've been using Namecheap for years uh, but the instructions are kind of universal so if you follow this they'll walk you through everything however I was um, kind of getting stopped up here on this error what was happening was I'd already had a, a website or I'd been testing some things previously on this domain name so I had some C name that already exists with my root domain so per their instructions I put the at sign in here first of all I switched this to C name I put the letter at in here just the symbol at and then I put the host 10.groovepages.com. You can also pick that up on your site where you go to publish. So here's a test site that I'm creating that will show. I put my domain name in here. Also, here is that. It's in the video, but also this is the host 10.groovepages.com that you want to put into the Cloudflare account here. So you've got two options here. Since I already have one, I can go ahead and just put my host 10 in here or I can delete this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now, before I delete this, when I did this the first time, I took a screenshot of this and then I copied and pasted all of these values and I put it into a notepad document. So the reason I like notepad is it doesn't take any of the formatting. It's just the code. So if I mess something up, I can always come back here and set it up exactly how it was. So right now I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Now, when I hit add record, that error is just showing from before that record is now in there so you can see that now vending machine profits which is just a test donate domain I have um, is now going to host 10 .com. before that had said something about parked and name cheap so that's how you overcome the C name record already exists code 81053 um, error and then from there on you just continue